Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 5748, which is a hard level. We can tell by the skull in the purple, where we have 23 moves to clear out 27 jelly. And that's where all the jelly is, and let's see what we can do about getting this done. I see also some striped candy dispensers here, but I've got licorice locks that are prohibiting me. So... Obviously, the cutouts are going to be the most difficult barrier to us, and the other blocker that's really tough is these uh, candy cane fences, but we'll see what we can do to overcome them. If not this time round, then at least we'll learn and be able to approach the next one better. So I think the very best choice I can make is to uh, try to keep the licorice at bay so that I have some free some free play between the areas. So if I take out licorice on a turn, no new licorice forms. If I don't take out licorice, that's when new licorice can show up. Ooh, look what happens. Yeah, I didn't realize I didn't even pay attention to the portals. Like I said, as we play, we learn and look at what I learned. So now I don't have licorice here to take out, but I do have some here and this also helps the board. So I will take it and I will keep looking for these wonderfully fun things to happen. I like this, which opens up the flow and gets me stripes. I'm going to take out licorice. I'm going to use this nice combo, open this up, clear this out. That means we're probably going to get licorice flowing again. So there's sometimes a one or a two turn delay. Sometimes you have to hit the licorice directly. Sometimes you can hit it by remote. Uh, each board is a little bit different. What I'm noticing is this is empty. So at some point in time we're going to have to convince some stripes to come along this way to help us out. I've got one going the wrong direction. Ooh, I do like that. So that's cleared. So I just have these two left. I see it. Now how to convince things to come through here. Oh. So I just want to make moves here that drop things down and then try to align them. But that's just going to slide right by, isn't it? I've got this, but then I've also got a licorice. So if I do this, ah, well, there's that guy, but how do I get to him? More licorice is going to come in. So everything else was fairly well accomplished early, and then it's just this little straggling area here. So if I do have to play this again, I now know one of the pitfalls of the board, and I can better address it. I am trying to take out licorice on each turn, but it didn't register as me taking it out because it was a remote. Mm, see, I learn as I go. Let's try to draw some things down here. I can't take out licorice. So, oh, here we go. Take it out this way, and then take it out this way. I might make it. Take it out this way, and then I think I got it. All right. Well, that was a little tricky and very nerve-wracking towards the end, uh, but thankfully I was able to get it done on the first playthrough. It, it really does help to know what is expected on the board. So, uh, hopefully, before you attempted this, you took a look at the video so you can see what to expect and you can target that little area. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.